we can begin this webinar. Uh, for those who do not know me, I'm Andres Unikas from Teltonica Networks, uh, my colleague Martin from Bondix Intelligence. Uh, uh, today, this webinar will take approximately half an hour, maybe 40 minutes, and after that we will have a Q&A session. Uh, what is different in this webinar uh, comparing to other is that uh, we are going to have a short poll session, only five questions, and we want just to get your uh, feedback, opinion about the webinar uh, itself from the technical side, let's see. And also, it's, it's different from others because I have Martin at my side. Uh, so today, as you know, is 25th of November, and uh, basically we are going to share something different, something that uh, I believe will open new possibilities for our partners, for you. And I'm talking about Bondix Intelligence, uh, 13 IoT platforms, 4 hotspot platforms, four fleet management platforms and 11 IoT connectivity platforms, totaling 32 IoT platforms that our products support. We are always looking for different companies to partner up with, to differentiate our offer to our partners and potential partners in the future. And we are doing this because we want to sustain a long-term partnership with you, to provide you with new type uh, of leads, and to fill the market with our products. So we understand that alone, we cannot do that. Simple as that. But together with you, with uh, third-party platform providers like Martin and Bondix, with third-party hardware providers, we are creating so-called ecosystem and enabling new possibilities, which is necessary to win a project. Imagine that let's say a project would require another industrial communication uh, protocol, which we do not support by default, what will happen? We will not be able to win it, but with third party platform pro uh, providers, which we have approved in our website, we can win it and we will win it. So all of this creates something like, you know, an understanding that use cases for our products and uh, are limitless. You know, I like the word limitless because it describes that there are no limits, <laughs> you know, and we are trying to show you that uh, by creating different uh, success stories, use cases, business applications, and sharing them with you through our webinars like this, like today, web page, social media channels, and even YouTube channel, you know, we are trying to reach worldwide, reach all companies across the globe. And today we are sharing bonding functionality with you, which was enabled by Bondix Intelligence. And the main advantage of using this platform is to offer, I call it super speed and seamless switch. So welcome Martin from Bondix Intelligence and uh, he will explain to you everything better, deeper. Awesome. Andres, thank you very much for the introduction and also for the chance to present our solution to your partner network. We are already working with uh, a couple of Teltonica partners and distributors worldwide, but of course it can be even more and we are happy here today to share with you guys how you can also win new projects, get into new markets and for the first time uh, unleash the real power of the Teltonica router platform. So. Let me just, uh, oh, just one thing. I'm not a fan of 25 or 30 PowerPoint slides. I will have some PowerPoint slides, but the key of this, uh, uh, of this presentation now will also be a live demo. So you can see live directly on an ROTX router, how bonding is working, how it will behave. And uh, let's see, let me, let me get started. Don't waste your precious time. Uh, we are all busy. So let me start and share my screen so but um it's my pleasure you know martin to have you here uh, and to hear uh what you will tell to our partners to our potential partners awesome so let's me hear where we are and so that's hopefully oh i just need to click the right window so okay i think now hopefully everyone can see this Good and clear. We so, can, yeah. Uh, great. So, um, 
as I mentioned, uh, for us, Bondix Intelligence, we see ourselves the right kind of smart. So we want to give you an introduction today on the world's first WAN bonding solution for Teltonica network routers. And again, it was, it's a pleasure to work with Teltonica as a manufacturer. It, it's absolutely awesome how the relationship developed over the last couple of months. And we are already successful, closed, interesting projects worldwide. But first, let me give you a little bit of background about Bondix because yeah, well, our name is Bondix. So we have the, oh, the, sorry, the content of the webinar. We have the introduction. I will show our solution. Yeah, I will explain a bit what Zane, is to, uh, what Zane is. I will not go too deeply technical. If someone wants this information, he can reach out to us afterwards and we are happy to do deep technical dives, but uh, I would want, we want to show the solution. Of course, what is real warm bonding? Yeah, how a Zane architecture looks? Uh, saying uh, what are the typical use cases and uh, of course we will also have a live demo and I will also uh, solve the same word acronym in a couple of minutes. So just give you a little bit of background. So we are not a new startup. We are founded, we were founded in 2017. We are based in the Netherlands and Germany. So I'm with a part of my team, uh, I'm based in Germany and I have a lot of colleagues in the Netherlands. We are part of a big investment group called Asua Invest. Uh, you can check them out over the internet. If someone wants to have a look uh, what we are doing, he can also reach out to me after that call. And you can see that we are active in different, uh, in different verticals from van bonding to vehicles, to business intelligence software. So a lot of solutions in our portfolio. I think the important point is that van bonding is not something new for us. So our development team in-house and has a more than 50 years combined experience in developing spam van bonding software for different vendors, different manufacturers in the past. But we also have a ton of expertise in marketing those solutions and bring them to market and, uh, and, uh, uh, and offer it to the customers. So uh, we, are not from, uh, we are not doing this for the first time. And uh, I think what is really unique that it's now for the first time available as a software and not tied to a specific hardware. So a little overview of our core team, what you see here, our CEO, the guy on the left, very, very successful businessman from the Netherlands. You also see my face at my development at my CTO team. So yeah, there are real people behind that company and we are not only a website, we are humans. So this is also important in all these, all these days uh, on all these times nowadays. But where do, we, where do we come into play? So if you struggle with low bandwidth, poor coverage, redundancy, moving up objects, high hardware costs as it was in the past, you had to add expensive third party devices to even achieve some kind of bonding. Uh, or you have uh, an issue with crossing borders or poor reliability of single links, we, can, we have you covered now. So Teltonica and Bondix can solve this issue for you. Yeah? So what is Bondix saying? So I think it's quite easy to understand. SANE stands for simple aggregation of networks. Yeah? Simple, not only in terms, uh, simple only in terms of usability, not in terms of technology. So it's not a simple technology, but it's easy to use, especially on the Teltonica de devices. Under the hood of SANE, there is a custom protocol, a software protocol developed and owned by Bondix, so by us. So when we developed our own solution, we looked on the market and also looked on our, our experience over the last uh, five years, what was missing. And then we said, took a white uh, piece of paper in 2019 and said, okay, what do we need to change to make it more visible, more feasible for all kinds of use cases and customers? Then Bondix as a protocol, of course, and I, I say this is a, a, of the main technical part here right now, it's designed to transport multiple data streams over any number of WAN devices. So you're not limited to two LTE and an ethernet. You can, uh, you can, get to the full potential of the Teltonica devices. You can combine multiple Teltonica devices to really write a, a high reliable link. So there, there are no limits, huh? but it is in general to understand what we are doing. At the moment, SANE as a software package is available 
for Teltonica RTX and R2950, 955 series routers. Why not for all Teltronica routers? This has a reason. Everything comes as a price. And we pick the most powerful Teltronica devices at the moment in each sector to achieve the bonding uh, and uh, achieve great throughput and uh, reliability. And especially the RTX series is one of the kind in this pricing range, in this connectivity range. There is no other vendor product on the market which achieves the same throughput and reliability than the ROTX series. In his class, the ROT950 is also very competitive, but due to a different hardware platform, it will not achieve the same speeds like an ROTX. But you can also benefit from bonding on the ROT950 and the 955. And when I talked with my, uh, with my friends at Telhonica, they told me that especially the 950 and the 955, I are uh, high volume units in the market where you uh, have a lot of devices out there and Zane can offer you the option to upgrade those devices and add the van bonding functionality as an add-on, even on deployed infrastructures, which is also important to give you, give you an, uh, an overview. We are not using any VPN for our bonding. Zane doesn't need any third party VPN solution. So if you have customers, who are already trusting the internal VPN functionalities of the Teltonica router, they can continue to use their already established VPN solution, VPN network, VPN infrastructure on the Teltonica router, and just add, AIN, uh, add Zane as a top, uh, as the icing of the cake to uh, increase the reliability. This is also a unique feature worldwide. All other WAN bonding vendors, hardware vendors, they will always force you to use their VPN solution. And a lot of customers will not do that and they will not accept that. So of course, there are uh, in terms of architecture of the same solution. So uh, it's, it's quite similar to everyone, everything else on the market in terms of how, how what parts do you need to be able to bond. But uh, compared to other solutions in the market, you will always get from us both in a package, which means on the, for the router, there is an installation package available, which you can install on the router, which each license we sell. We also deliver a server file. If you want to set up your own server in your own infrastructure to receive those connections. But we also have partners and resellers and distributors worldwide who offer this as a service, but it's your choice. Yeah, it's we're not forcing anybody to, to use this or this platform or this technology on the background or to buy expensive additional licenses for the server backend. No, it's all included in the, in the standard same license. And uh, what this graphics also show that our bonded tunnel, the VPN security is optional. So if you just want to make a, a plain internet, if you want to achieve the best possible bandwidth, and you do not need VPN, you do not need to use it. If you have a high security infrastructure and you need the, uh, the, most, uh, the most out of reliability and security, use your existing VPN. So that's just, a, just an overview. I do not want to bother you with so much technical details, but in general, we have a tunnel, we have a client and we have a server where we have all those connections of a single router combined to a fat, reliable pipe. Let's put it this way. So what are the benefits of bonding? Yeah, we have load balancing. We have other technologies in the market. Yeah, They all have their advantages. But if you want to use optimal uh, uh, several bonding simultaneously with uh, uninterrupted connectivity, bonding is the optimal solution. If it's efficient and if it does not uh, generate a lot of additional overhead. And of course, even if you have a load balancing solution, yeah, what the ROTX, for example, is already supporting, yeah, but you will run into troubles if you are in a, in a location where a single link doesn't give you the bandwidth necessary for your application. Yeah, CCTV, anything else, a moving object, you will not be able to achieve uh, your connectivity uh, goals with load balancing or something like that. So you will need the bonding on the device to be able to generate enough bandwidth. Yeah. Of course, it will also help with latency smoothing. Yeah. We have uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of features included in our software uh, where you can 
optimize links for latency or bandwidth, or you can deal with high latency links like satellites. So tons of options, but easy to access. You do not need to be a high skilled engineer to use this on the client side. Uh, you can, uh, let's put it this way. SANE will work 95% efficient out of the box when you install it and click on your links and you can tweak the last 5%. But for 99% of the scenarios, 95 is already good to improve your connectivity. And of course, uh, bonding results in no downtime. And on the other hand, ensures business continuity. So this is the most important point today. What we see outside in the market, uh, we, we are getting more and more bandwidth with single links, but we're getting less reliability for each link. Yeah? In the past, you paid a lot of money for your dedicated line and it never went down. Now you're using consumer technology together with dedicated infrastructure. Of course, this increases the risk of failures of that specific line. And with bonding, especially with Satonica, you can overcome these issues and guarantee business continuity for your, uh, for your customers and or if you're a customer uh, yourself, uh, for your branches, for your employees, for everyone using uh, the Teltonica technology. What are the typical use cases? What we are, where, where bonding makes a lot of sense. And I want to refer, strongly refer to the great document Teltonica released a couple of weeks ago, where you see all these great use cases with the explanations in it here. So I will not bother you with, with a lot of examples. Please look at this document, ask Andreas or reach out to Teltonica if you don't have it now, because it's awesome. It helped us a lot to understand uh, what are the use cases of Teltonica and how we can optimize our solution in the best possible way. So we have the critical communication and public safety area. Yeah, of course, at the moment you can, you can tackle those cases uh, with the load balancing function of the ROT already, but when it now comes, let's see, police, um, uh, firefighters, ambulances, anything with public safety, if you want to have a constant data stream out of the car, even if you have unreliable links, you need bonding because bonding will ensure that, for example, video footage or real-time communication is always possible as long as there is any kind of connectivity. So. This is, by the way, one of the most successful areas where Bondix is already very active, or well, was very active over the last couple of years. Energy and critical infrastructure, the same here. If you have a wind park, if you have a windmill, at least in Germany, if this windmill goes, uh, goes, uh, goes disconnected, even for a couple of seconds, they have to shoot down uh, because uh, the, the, they are not allowed to uh, uh, to have any device, any uh, uh, grids connected to the energy networks when you do not, when you're not able to control it. And we also see it here, a single LTE connection is not reliable enough. The normal failover with load balancing can cause outages until the second modem is dialed in. The VPN might need to be reestablished. And if it runs bad, you have to switch off your solar park and your, or your wind park until the connection is stable again. Yeah. What is also very, very interesting uh, part of the uh, of this solution is rapid site deployment and disaster recovery. Imagine using an RTX 12 in a little penny case with two SIM cards, which you can just ship to customers when they have an egg, when when there is an when there is a disaster. If they if a, if a digger cut uh, had cut the fiber line, or even if there is a new branch which needs to be set up immediately until the fixed line is delivered, yeah? then send out an RTX 12 with bonding and two LTE and you are good. Yeah? Your customer will be online, he will have enough bandwidth. Yeah? At least he will get the best uh, uh, possible available bandwidth at this particular location. A, a big thing in Germany, because we have so poor internet, probably not the same for all everyone in the world, fixed line and mobile link aggregation. So. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's assume that you have a customer who has a decent downstream, but a crappy upstream uh, over his DSL line, like the typical 16 down, two megabit up you get in Germany uh, as, a, as the basic line, which does not even allow you to do a proper video conference if your son is doing some online gaming in the background. So 
in this particular case, you can combine with the Teltonica, the LTE and, uh, and the DSL or the Ethernet connection. And the LTE will only be used to, uh, uh, to, uh, to upgrade the upstream, for example, of the router to make sure if there's a higher demand of bandwidth, um, then, you, then it's available. If it's, not a if, if it's not needed, it will save the more expensive mobile data on the SIM card. It's also a very common scenario and can be perfectly achieved with the ROTX and the ROT950 ser series router. Yeah. As I mentioned, this all comes to demanding mobile usage scenarios. Any Everywhere where you have trains, you have objects which are moving, uh, you, you need to combine high latency links like satellite with low latency links like LTE, then SANE can be the right tool in your toolbox to achieve that goal and give the customer the best possible customer experience. And of course, this is our bread and butter business, <laughs> live streaming and events, uh, because everyone who is doing those projects uh, um, might have experienced the following situation. You are getting to a venue one day before the event. You're setting up your connection. You're starting your test. Everything works perfectly. Everything is great. You are happy what you see, your live stream, everything goes out. Your payment system works. Now we have the day of the event. Instead of 50 people or 100 people on the event location, we have now 10,000. All these people are using the same cell towers. All these people are connected. Those people are, people are using Facebook, doing uploading pictures, everything. Now your networks get congested. Then, we have a lot, then it's, it's getting difficult for you to be able to stream or get your data of the event. And, or even, more, even simpler, if you have payment systems, which is much more important than the stream. Yeah? If you have a festival somewhere and you have electronic payment systems, and uh, then it, it, it works when you, uh, when you try it first, as soon as people are there, it stops working. So this is, again, one, one in interesting field where our bonding can help you uh, uh, instantly to achieve the goals in the, uh, of your customer. And uh, also a very, very last but not least, we are doing a lot in the yard team business, also based with Teltonica routers. So a partner of us, Selviva, recently launched a special product called Selviva Compact based on the ROTX 12 uh, router, which you can install on yards as a managed service, including all these um, little features like to be able to stream, to stream Netflix over a bonded connection and use this. But this is, of course, can also expand it to mobile homes, to explorer cars, anything, or anywhere where you need reliable connectivity. And marine service and yarding were, is, is challenging. But what we see here right now, to, uh, with the Teltonica ROTX 12 and compared to all competitors in the market, you can position a solution which is 50, more than 50% cheaper than the current solutions on the market, but performs better. So I think we can give you all the ingredients to generate additional business in this very competitive and very demanding market together. So we are nearly finished with my slides. So this is our message. We say saying it's crazy good. If you, want, if you guys want more information, want to learn, how you can become a partner on our website under www Bondix Intelligence. You can see our collaboration partners, one of the biggest, of course, Teltonica. You can see already our, uh, some of our distributors, but we are, of course, open to, uh, for resellers and distributors to discuss how we can work together. And I do not want to waste your time anymore with any, uh, any silly slides. Let me just go to the live demo. And the important point is, we are already doing the live demo the whole time because I'm connected to that little webinar with an ROTX 12 router with three links. And during the now coming live demo, I will pull links, I will disable lines, and our webinar will continue over this device. I, I'm sure, I hope, I think. No, it will continue, I'm quite sure. So let me just switch to a different screen and show you quickly how SANE integrates on a Teltonica router and how easy it is to use. So just me got, here we are. Need to go to the right window. Where are we? I think, 
Let me just let me just get to the right window. So here we are. Okay, where's the, where, where can I share again? Oh, but let me just see my my menu just disappeared. Uh, and those, ah, here we are. Got it. So let me just open. So. Ah, yeah, it is. So, okay, now I can share. Too many screens on my screen. Sorry, guys. So, <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully everybody can see my screen right now. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, you can see it, Francis. So, guys, so at the moment I have to make two, uh, two little things here. So, two, two, uh, uh, two little updates. At the moment, we are working on the Teltonica firmware 02061. We are working closely with the Teltonica development team to get same ported on 7.0 or 7.1, the next one which are coming. As soon as this is possible, we will, all, we will also offer you a client working on those, uh, on those updated firmware platforms. But of course, it takes some time. Teltonica takes everything here very serious. We are reviewing our software together and we want to make sure that everything works out of the box like we did with this solution here. So, but let's bring it, let's make it, let's bring it easy up here. So as soon as you have you installed our Bondix package on the router, which you basically do over the included packet manager on the Teltonica router, you are now getting a new menu entry, which is called Bondix Bonding. And this is, this is the router, uh, which I'm connected to here and which, in, which I'm using for my, for my, uh, for my call. But you can, you can see this because this is the server IP of our endpoint server in, in, our, in the data center. And if I just check what is my IP, uh, so, and you can see here that I'm in the network, I'm out, I'm reachable in the internet over the IP of the data center of the server. So this is my IP, how I'm using the internet at the moment. On my device, I have three links. I have an ethernet link with a 50 down, 15 up profile. Yeah? So this is what my ethernet delivers reliable. I know we are in Germany, so it is a little bit, uh, it, it's not as good as you would expect from other countries. I also have a Wi-Fi link, yeah, which is 40 down, 20 up, and I have another LTE in the router at the moment. So you can see here, when, I, when you click on status, you can see here that we have a tunnel, we have three modems or three links connected at the moment, which is the ethernet, which is one of the internal modems of the Teltonica router and a Wi-Fi client. So three different sorts of links, three different technologies. Uh, uh, I would also be able to add another LTE, but sadly my SIM card ran out of data yesterday and I'm waiting for the new month so I can use it. So that's why I'm using a Wi-Fi hotspot over my mobile phone. So, but to get you, but to get us started, um, what you see here, of course, is the WAN interfaces of the Teltonica router. Sane offers you multiple options in terms of how, you, how it should use the WAN interfaces. You can simply say, do not use it. You can say, optimize it for latency if you're doing interactive traffic like remote desktop applications. You can also say, optimize for speed, which is my favorite. I always like speed. And, uh, speed solves a lot of problems. We can also use fixed line. If you have multiple fixed line connected to an ROTX 12, which is also possible, uh, you, you can label them as fixed line, then the system will treat the latency difference a little bit more restrictive. But uh, since I also have mobile links, I will stick with the optimized for speed. And last but not least, our special satellite mode, which you need to test to yourself, it really shrinks, da shrinks down the latency of a satellite link when you combine it with one of the LTEs of the router, even if you only have GPRS reception. So this is awesome in this way. So, and what is also important, you can give each link a different priority and priority means you, you will give your cheapest link the highest priority and you give your more expensive links 
the lower or default priority. This will make sure that Zane will always use the cheapest link as the priority link, only switch uh, to the other ones if bandwidth is not sufficient or the link becomes unreliable. So we have, and our focus was always save as much data, expensive data traffic as possible and use and use the mobile data as efficient as possible. It could also be the case that you have two, two LTE cards in that router, uh, one cheap one and one very expensive one. You want to make sure that you always use the cheapest one first. Then you give the cheapest one a higher priority in that menu and you are good to go. No other configuration is needed. So what I wanted to do, do now for you guys now, let me just deactivate two of the three links by saying, do not use. And when I mean deactivation, I, they are not shut down, but they are disconnected from our software module here. So then, and once it's updated, what you see here right now, my ethernet is still there, the LTE one and the Wi-Fi is disconnected. To make this even more visible, we also have a nice thing which we called the same monitor, which you can access on a Teltonica router, which gives you a detailed overview of what is going on over the links. The green traffic you are seeing here is our outgoing traffic of the WebEx, of the video conference we are just, we are just doing at the moment. And to give us, to get a proper baseline, what I will do right now, I will do a speed test over the Ethernet link so we get a baseline. So we know what, 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 are we, what do we have now? Um, and as I mentioned, I have a 15, a 50 down, 15 up connection. And to, to show everyone that I'm not cheating, we are only using one line. We are doing a speed test and uh, the purple traffic is the downstream traffic in the device. So, our first test shows us we are getting net round about 45, uh, 45 megabit. Of course, you also have to think about that I'm also downloading video from your site. So that's, uh, that's, uh, this is the traffic runs in parallel. We might need to do this test two times since Zane is not wasting any expensive traffic with auto tuning all the time. So it waits until you are enabling, uh, if, uh, until you demand more data. Uh, at more bandwidth. So we do it two times and then we activate the other links and then we look at the outcome, what we see. So around about, uh, now we are lucky we're getting our 50. Maybe we were lucky that no data was transmitted on my line before. And we can still see that in our device, we are only using one channel of our three, which are already connected. So, uh, so uh, from my 15, about four megabit are used by the uh, Zoom call at the moment. So I need now, uh, now, now I need to transfer high, bigger files and 10 megabit is too low for my upstream. Let me activate the other links. Just put them into optimized for speed. And update the configuration. The configuration update doesn't change anything on that. It's, it's, uh, it's update, it updates the status information in this overview. So you can always see what is the status of your, uh, of your, uh, of your connection. Oh, there is a, ah. Okay, so let's go back to the speed test side. Here we had, uh, this was our starting point, only the ethernet alone. What we, what we now see also, we have three lines connected. But our expensive links are not used at the moment because the, inter because the Ethernet is still there and delivering enough bandwidth for our application. But now we have, a, we have a higher bandwidth demand. Let's start the speed test again. As you can see here right now, traffic is not running. It's now running over all links at the same time. Uh, it will take some time until we reach the full speed of each connection, as I mentioned. We are not wasting precious expensive data for speed tests. And what you can see, what you can also see here that my mobile links are giving me more and better bandwidth compared to my fixed line. Welcome to Germany, I have to say this again. Yeah? So we started at 50, we are now at 100. 
and then and on uh, 52 52 up and let me just repeat it one time uh, because normally i think the second one will even get better because now we will start with a, we will start the measurement with a higher value we tested the connection the software tested the connection and knows hey i get more bandwidth so let's start a little bit higher from the very beginning now we are at 123 and I think we will be around about at, um, at uh, 55, 52, something like that, probably on the upstream side. Ah, a little bit less. Okay, it's LTE, guys. It's a mobile connection. But I think you all get, uh, get the message here. So we had 50 base plus 40 of the Wi-Fi link, which is 90. Over the LTE, we're getting another 30 megabit, 33. And like I said, we have congested networks everywhere. So this is LTE is always a snapshot. It's not a reliable, a reliable value, but you can rely on this very much on the upstream side because LTE is used mostly from the normal user on the downstream, but a lot of upstream capacity is still available. So if you do live streaming, critical communication, you want to send video from a surveillance camera or something over multiple networks, then this is the right solution. But when I pointed out before, uh, what you see here right now, we are only using the ethernet. Let me now pull the ethernet cable on my router because this is now we have an outage of the connection. And you basically see that nothing happens. Yeah? So our connection now runs over the mobile and the Wi-Fi link seamlessly. Yeah? You can even make this even more seamlessly if you uh, by sending copies of each packet over each link this is a this is a feature we call packet duplication so this is a typical scenario you have a cheap link you have a business you have a connection at your branch site uh, uh, dsl gets cut off you have a decent seamless failover already and as soon as the cheapest link is coming back because now the carrier has fixed the connection it will, it will seamlessly switch back again automatically to your cheapest and most reliable link here. So no interference necessary. And I think this is an important point here. We will not overuse your data. Zane will always pick the best possible way to transmit your data based on the, uh, based on the settings you set in the Teltonica web interface. And, uh, also, a little feature after I want to show you. This is the server I'm connecting, connected at the moment. And my system, it's also possible that you can add a second server here. So there's even redundancy on the server side saying, hey, if I can't reach my first server, it takes about 10 seconds and it will automatically switch to the new server on the other side. And also, last important point about what happens if the software if the software has a failure, what happens if the software doesn't work? Then the device will automatically switch back to his standard internet connection. So if you have an ethernet connection and Zane is not working, it will shoot down itself and you will have all the capabilities of the Teltonica router out of the box, what you're already using. Of course, you will not get the aggregation of the, uh, of the bandwidth and you will not get the seamless failover, but you will not, you will never be offline. This is an important point for us because you do not want to drive 50 kilometers to a remote location just to restart a router or something because you can't reach it anymore. And this is basically from my side, uh, Andreas. That's why I'm now, I will now stop sharing from my side. All right. Thank you, Martin. I, th I think as I, I only, I was, oh, 41 minutes. So not too bad. Let's put it this way. <laughs> Give me just one second. Yeah. Okay. All right. So thank you very much, Martin. It it was really, really very interesting. Uh, no matter that I saw it before, but you know, it, it was <laughs> like a perfect demo version, <laughs> perfect demo demonstration of the software system. Uh, why I'm telling you this because uh, when you started to make the demo, uh, we have received. Uh, 20 new questions something like that <laughs> okay so just uh, let's go to to my part which will take i know up to five minutes something like that uh, so you saw bondix intelligence the same same system and again thanks martin uh, 
for this introduction, you know, and uh, you have heard many different sectors where you can use Bondix, but I would like to speak, uh, speak only about three of them, marine, live streaming, and retail business. Uh, so I would like to begin with Marine. Uh, most of you saw the topology in our website, uh, but you can easily apply Bondix to, the, to this solution. And you know that the global tourism market has shrunken or even stopped. Let's say local tourism uh, is booming as people still need to, let's say, spend time with their families and relatives in their native countries. In today's life, all type of transportation vehicles, such as police cars, ambulance vehicles, taxis, or even cranes on the port or at, uh, at the construction site, let's say, it has to have a reliable cellular internet connectivity. And uh, who can offer better reliability than, than Bondix uh, software system? So boats and yachts basically are no different from other transportation, but for operations, marketing, and service quality, these vessels need a robust and easy to use solution for a reliable internet access. And in the topology, uh, a larger vessel on the left is equipped with our most pow powerful and most advanced enterprise cellular router, the RET X12. Uh, this device, as you know, has two 4G LT CAT6 mobile modules and is able to provide uh, from himself approximately 600 megabits per second down speed. And um, as you know, two mobile operators uh, are providing connected to the device at the same time. Let's say it's possible to ensure uninterruptible, uninterrupted service and leverage the connection quality. Also, you know that RTX 12 has AC Wi-Fi with 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequency bands to provide connectivity for all mobile devices on the yacht. Going further to the live streaming, uh, since it is very important and this topology is based on pop-up live streaming and uh, the main requirements were, you know, just a simple setup, ease of use, good quality stream and high data throughput required to broadcast the live video to, uh, to YouTube via YouTube, let's see, channel. And, uh, you know, that reliable and stable internet connection was also a must have. Again, Bondix plays a significant role here uh, just to provide a reliable, stable internet source by, by combining a few sources of the internet. Going to the retail market, the last topology which I would like to show you today, um, you know that nowadays most retail businesses are offering multiple means of customer services oriented to engagement and satisfaction, for example. Uh, connected services includes uh, offering public Wi-Fi with captive portals for client engagement, digital signage screens, people counting solutions, and automated inventory management for stock control to have more operational control and transparency. Naturally, digital payment options and card payment remains um, a must-have option in a physical retail environment. As shown in the topology, the POS system, computer, and thermal camera are connected to the router via Ethernet. Barcode scanners and tablet is connected via Wi-Fi to secure um, a private network, let's say. Uh, as RTX 12 and most of our products uh, are capable of supporting IPsec, OpenVPN, and other VPNs, uh, let's say companies can configure the networks accordingly by their needs and requirements. So, with bonding functionality, as Martin mentioned, you uh, via his presentation, you can easily uh, offer a reliable, stable connection since in payment terminals, as he mentioned, this is one of the most important things. Uh, so with bonding, you can offer the, that reliable connectivity. So to sum up, uh, the Bondix intelligence uh, solution offered the solution called SANE is needed. It is needed in many different areas, mostly in rural areas uh, when there is low availability of a good signal also for solutions that requires high speeds. And uh, what you should do next, I think you have the question, you know, obviously listen to, to, to the end of this webinar, uh, listen to the Q&A session. And uh, if you are interested, you can contact Bondix Intelligence simply by writing an email uh, to them or calling them directly, I believe, or just writing to your sales manager at Teltonica Networks and they will forward your, your information to uh, Martin and Bondix company. Uh, so now what I would like to do, I would like to start reviewing the Q&A session since we have, I think, 13 minutes uh, left. So I do not believe that we'll answer all of them. 
but you know a good thing is that uh, we will answer them today or tomorrow and we will upload to our website uh, so also before starting uh, answering the q a i would like to launch a short poll it will take i don't know half a minute just just answer if you can it is very uh, needed for us to know how we can uh, make even better webinars so I'm starting the poll and uh, I'm starting to review the questions. Okay, 31 question. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the first question was uh, basically, what is interesting that all of those questions are oriented to, to Bondix, you know, and uh, it's good for me because I do not need to answer them. <laughs> um, Okay, so let's start with the first one. And uh, the first uh, question sounds like, is the bonding, bonding solution using an industry standard for aggregation? It's our own, no, it's not an industry standard uh, because there is, of course, there is no industry standard of aggregation. There is something like multipass, which is a technology uh, which you can apply if you're an iPhone user or something, but we developed our protocol independently that that's the reason why you can use all industrial standard vpn solutions over our tun tunnel very efficiently all right so uh the next question uh which is quite interesting mm -hmm. uh, for uh, let's say and what's the difference between sane and sd van yeah as sane it basically is sd van on steroids for me it's at least the the, the first real software defined van solution since it's not tied to a specific hardware. We picked with the Teltonica RUTX series, the most powerful hardware we, we saw. We evaluated a lot of devices in the market in that, in that segment. Yeah? But basically Zane is also SD-WAN, but of course SD-WAN includes a lot of orchestration stuff. So basically if you want to deploy a, a branch site and everything, this is not what we are doing. We are focusing on the connectivity part. Yeah? on this to provide you and your uh, the partners and customers of Teltonica with the best possible connectivity. So SD-WAN, of course, there are, uh, this, there are, there are, this, is, this is a little bit comparable, but it's not the same. Let's put it this way. Okay, okay. Uh, all right, so third question. <laughs> mm -hmm. When sending application traffic using Teltonica router with Bondix, does it send packet on all available internet uplinks or it only sends one uplink, uh, uplink at a time? Two options here. So what I showed you was the bonding feature. Bonding feature will use the, the, the most reliable low latency link as the preferred link automatically and switch seamlessly to the other channels if necessary. But there is an option we call packet duplication. Then you, if you enable this on the Teltonica router, then all packages are sent over all links simultaneously and the server side will only take the first package out of them and throw the other away. This comes at the cost that you are, that you are losing bandwidth, but it increases reliability uh, dramatically. So if you have a hard audio live or video stream, yeah, then you can just simply switch to this mode. So, to answer it short, you can do this if you want, but you don't need to do this. In our switchover solution, Andreas, at what we did here, uh, it was seamless without using sending the data over all links. Yeah, I understand. All right. So uh, another question about RETOS, and I believe I know that you mentioned this uh, via this webinar, but I will repeat it. Uh, mm -hmm. Will the RETOS, our operating system, stay compatible with the same client, or do we need to upgrade to same client when there is uh, RETOS update? So of course, since we are working very closely with your development teams, we are constantly doing updates based on the available firmware versions on the Teltonica. Since our client is also OpenWRT based like the Teltonica Router OS, it's quite easy to work with you guys and to release new versions as quick as possible when a new firmware version is released. We had a diff it was a little bit different with the, with the new Teltonica's uh, firmware since our relationship uh, started oh, in, in August. So we were very yeah. quick and yeah. get everything up and running. So, but we are confident that by the end of the year, you will get uh, an update on the newest ROTX, uh, uh, seven, I think the 7.0 or 7.1 version mm -hmm. of the yeah. OS. And of course, 
We will then, as soon as there are uh, firmware updates on the Teltonica side and Teltonica has checked the package and gave approval, we will also release updated versions of this. Okay, thank you, Martin. Uh, another question, uh, does it combine the internet bandwidth at the LAN when you uh, are to conduct a browser speed test? Okay, let me let me just uh, let me uh, let me just see if I, if I understand it right. So what I did here was basically I'm connect I was I'm connected with a LAN cable to my router, and I did a speed test, and this was for my single data stream for my application for my session. So in, if this was the question, the answer is yes. Okay. That's, it combines the available bandwidth, but it will only combine it if your demand is there for this. So we will not utilize the expensive links if the cheapest link gives you the bandwidth you mm -hmm. need. Okay, okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so another question includes two questions. One question about the cost of the license and mm -hmm. what are its types. So I will leave it for the private discussion mm -hmm. for each and everyone who will contact mm -hmm. you directly or via us. Another part of this question, does the one have to have a permanent public IP address from the RTX side? No, you're, the only thing what you need, uh, the, the public IP address you saw on my on my screen is the public IP from the server. You do not need any public IPs on the router side. You can always access the router through the tunnel of the server backend. I didn't give you guys a tour of the server big backend because this would have definitely exceeded our webinar here. Everyone who is interested into this, reach out to us and we will make a more technical uh, uh, deep dive on both sides, show you all the features, what's going on, yeah? So this is no, this this is no, uh, this is no problem. So this is even this is even the good the good point here. You can always reach your your router in the field through the tunnel, even if you are using private links with no public IP addresses. There is no necessity to have a public IP on the router side. Okay. Uh, going to the next question, uh, it sounds like this. This feature is already available in the latest RT nine five five firmware. How is this feature enabled? The same license is only necessary if using the VPN server and the VPN, is, and the VPN server is not mandatory. Quite a long question, but... Let, let, me, let me address the two points. So okay. yes, for the ROTX, we are available for 955 firmware. We, we have packages available, again, for the latest firmware before 7.0. So this is the firmware we support. Uh, you enable that feature by installing it on the router and connecting to a server. And I also, maybe it, I was not totally clear on the, on the VPN server. SANE always requires a server, or we call it better, a relay to aggregate the links. You can add VPN as an option on top of it uh, if you want to have VPN over the tunnel, but it's always a two component system. You do not need a VPN server, but you will need a SANE uh, relay, we call it, because we are not looking into the traffic. A lot of our projects, the relay is somewhere in the internet, like the cell tower, like your hop of the DSL. Traffic gets aggregated and gets forwarded to the final destination in the infrastructure of the customer. All right. Uh, so now I would like to answer uh, one question by my side, mm -hmm. by myself. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just a pause for you. <laughs> uh, all right. So. Uh, Jean is asking, what is the maximal throughput in bonding that can be achieved with the RET95X and RETX series routers? My question wouldn't be uh, very, my answer wouldn't be very accurate because everything depends on where you are located, right? In Lithuania, we can achieve one speed. In Germany, we can achieve another speed. And of course, we have also one, uh, one, there is at least there are some limitations, not limitations, the limitations in a way that says, for example, how much RAM have, do we have available for our application on the router? I give you an example on the ROTX 12. We are seeing speeds combined depending on the characteristic of the link. It's also different if you're using Ethernet for Ethernet links combined or three LTEs, because then you have to deal with higher latency. So we are getting about 200 megabit of bonded combined throughput when you have very different links. Yeah? If you have multiple Ethernet links, it can be even more because you, you need to understand if you send data over multiple links, 
the, 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 the slowest link will determine how long you have to wait on the receiver side of the router and you have to do some caching. And uh, on the RTX 12, we are happy to use, utilize 40 megabyte, which is available for us as an application. And I assume that as soon as, Tal so let's put it this way, as soon as Teltonica decides to go to the 5G world, when I assume that the next thing 5G, it will be a little bit uh, bigger hardware under it, a little bit more RAM, the bonding uh, throughput will just increase accordingly to the hardware capabilities. Yeah. From the processor side, it's not an issue. The processor in the RTX 12 is already capable. We are utilizing one of the four cores for our application. That's a, so, so this is, at, and for the RT 950, 955, we are seeing something about combined speed of 60 to 80 megabit. Here you have to take in mind that we have a device which has half of the RAM available of the uh, RTX 12. So yeah. this is why we are working closely with Teltonica and the dev team to see what is necessary for the future to make the Teltonica devices even more uh, more capable to utilize the bonding more efficiently. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, a few more questions, and I, I believe we'll finish uh, this Q&A mm -hmm. session. So one question sounds like this. Are you saying that uh, uplink speed and downlink speed can be managed with the help of Bondix using multiple WAN? Yes, exactly. This is what, so it can be managed and aggregated, and of course also, uh, uh, do a failover scenarios and also manage links in terms of costs, manage links in terms of reliability and also in terms of bandwidth usage and behavior of the link, for example, like satellite yeah. compared to mobile compared to fixed line. Okay, uh, another question. Does it bring any latency in transmission? Yes, because again, nothing comes for free. So a server, depending how the server is connected and which data center, we see around about eight milliseconds in terms of additional latency. So uh, give an example, my DSL at home has about 19 to 20. When I do the speed test over the ping over the tunnel, I'm at 28 milliseconds. But for example, Sane will always use the, uh, the fastest lane to send out the, acknowledge, the, uh, the acknowledgements prefer, uh, uh, as a preferred link. So, even if you have high latency links, you will, you will get you the most, uh, the, the optimal latency, what is available over those links. Okay. Uh, taking a few questions from the bottom of the list, uh, mm -hmm. uh, one sounds like this. Is the transmission in the tunnel encrypted? No, this is the biggest, this is the, this is the, the biggest difference to all other solutions in the market. You can choose the already proven and implemented encryption methods available on a Teltonica devices. I think it's IPsec, OpenVPN and WireGuard. And you can use uh, the encryption in the tunnel very efficiently. Of course, it will cost you some bandwidth because encryption puts load on the device, but their security comes before performance in those scenarios. And of course, you can use browser encryption in general. If you have an SSL link on a, in your browser, then of course it stays encrypted, but it's your choice. You can use it without always encryption uh, and use everything you're already using with the Teltonica already. All right. And the last question, yeah? uh, the same server is, is it Linux based? Yes. So the same, the same server is Linux based. It's a server image. You can fire it up in any cloud environment. We would recommend Ubuntu, Ubuntu as a, as a operating system on the server side, because it's the easiest way to install. We also deliver a complete uh, installation script for that, that you can set up your server. And one important point is, Andres, what I wanted yep. to add, everyone who wants to test Zane gets a 14 days free trial period over one of our demo servers. Perfect. Just need to reach out to us. No one needs to buy the genie in the bottle. Let's put it this way. <laughs> it's just, we, we want to convince our customers. And if partners and customers reach out to us in terms of the pricing model, I can promise you one thing, it's as easy as our installation and as logical and no hidden fees like we have it in our relationship with uh, Teltonica. This is what I wanted to add. So reach out to me and to, or to the Teltonica team to secure your demo. All right. So thank you everyone for joining this webinar, uh, especially thank you, Martin, for 
supporting me, explaining what is Bondix, uh, uh, what is saying a solution. And uh, I hope, I hope that at least 70% of the attendees will contact you. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And it was a great, a, a, a great chance for me to present this. Thank you again for the invitation and for making everything possible, Andrew. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Bye-bye, guys.